Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hora Truck and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together. We are playing Stint Sky the Scourge and we are in a, let's say, um, tactical conundrum. We are being attacked by both this guy, Edward Portsmouth, who has an astounding amount of defense. Wonder where he's getting that from. Uh, ooh. Mesmerizing necklace, red raptor. He has lots of he has lots of things. Spirit weakness, ignominious buckler of the outcasts, fire protection, light weakness. Yeah, problem is um, he's a dreadnought, and he has lots of machine units like these. And most of my abilities um, are not usable against machines. They just don't do anything against them, like life stealing. Machines are not alive and they are not dead. Most of my abilities as a necromancer are against living units. We lost Sanctum. That's that's not good. I think we're going to lose Dark Eternal. Um, but on the other hand, in the last episode we managed to take the throne city of Bren Grimdaughter, our other enemy. And this is a really big city, 42,000 population. We're migrating them to ghoul goblins. And we will have an instant metropolis, even after migrating them. I have one shrine of smiting over here. Um, Karnak the Death Slayer nearly died. He nearly died, but he managed to conquer the city. I wonder if I should just raise it. How many turns would that take? Two turns. Could just destroy the whole city, just burn it to the ground. I don't think that's a wise choice. Hmm. Could start and build some some butchers over here. Not sure if I'm going to do that. Well, yeah, let's see what they do in the next turn. End it. Red Reaper is finally ready to cast. He's moving over here to my city. Oh, but he sent some units back. And she's trying to get her throne city back. Oh, it's incredible how many units he has. It's unbelievable. How can you how can you crank out all these units? More and more. They have lots. They really have lots of units. I'm going to to attack the, those guys. Manual combat. So just one unit. I mean, the AI is gonna AI, so they are not that clever. I guess that's what I'm saying. They cannot, cannot be dominated. Can I do anything else? Can I? Yeah, I can try to dominate them. That's a great thing. Let's try and dominate them. Perhaps they come over to us. Let's do it. Yes, they are dominated. They are now my unit. Thank you very much for it. Oh, that's good. How far can you move? Yeah, you have full movement. So come here. Um, these guys, I think I can take. So let's try it. Very likely victory. I want to take as much units away from him as I can. And if they are like this, singled out, <coughs> that's fine by me. Can try to seduce these guys. Can I? Can I dominate the other guys? No. I guess you have my control immunity or something. Spirit protection. Strong will. Where is it? Yeah, because of your metal. So you're you're completely immune immune to to the stuff I could do to you. 
spirit protection. Complete spirit protection, that's annoying. Can shadow step you. Yeah, immune to ghoul curse. I could try to kill them. They cannot be affected by invoke death. That's annoying. Let's see. They are frozen, at least. Finally, one thing. Move you over here. And do some fire damage. So the sun disk is doing some some amount of damage. That's fine. Our bone collectors have demolishing. Let's sprint. Let's also try to attack the juggernaut. And a ghoul watcher. cannot do anything against anyone. Could try to attack the tiger and prowlers. Cannot reach, yeah. Let's do this. They resisted. End the turn. Very interesting. So let's finish off these guys. Didn't quite manage to finish him off, but I think the Goblin Deathbringer should be able to do it. Yes. If I attack the Juggernaut, it will explode. Could potentially kill my guy over here. Can I panic you? No, I can't. Fire elemental is pretty strong. I like that. Um, it would, would be nice if you could level up. Yeah, let's do it. No, did not manage to kill it. Let's do it with you then. Oh yeah. Oh, Bone Collector leveled up. And I think he can kill the Tiger and Prowler, and then we are out of here. Very good. That's fine. It's all fine and dandy. I destroyed him. And you are over here. I cannot get to you. At least not that as quick as I would like. You're moving to my other city over here. Okay. Oh, and this is now a vessel of Edward. That cannot be allowed. You shall become my city or die. Jezreel hasn't um, got her her healing guy. She has no reanimator anymore. I think we'll do just fine. Maybe over here. Ah, one more, why not? Move you over here. You want to put your units um, not directly to each other because these flamers have um, an area of effect. Move you over here. And end the turn. Now, yeah, could destroy the gate, and let's do it. Why not? Yeah, the gate is destroyed. Move you here. Although, bearing in mind what I just said, keep away. Move you over here. These guys can shadow step. It's 
So we'll use that to get inside the um, fortress. And attack them from behind. They're immune to ghoul curse now. And we also can attack them with our longbow and just finish them off. And you're done. And the turn. Let's see if I can get these raptors. Well, first... Yeah, no, I'll do it. I want to inf infect them with ghoul curse if I can. Attack the raptors. And they are done. And these should be able to kill the Draconian Crushers with a bit of luck. Let's hope they can manage it. Yeah, they did it. What can we do with you? Hmm. I can phase. Let's phase to over here. And attack the Draconian Flamers. Oh, and they're done. And Ghoul Cursed. Very fine. Alright, end it. Only the hatchling is left. And I'll uh, give Josra some some way to get back a bit of her health. Because she can steal the life of them. They are blinded and they are dead. That's all fine. We've got two more units out of this. And I think I will send Josra after Slinterskoy. There are some more units over here. He has got Yetis from somewhere. I don't know where he got them. Did he... No, he did not explore this. Why are these guys um, damaged? Oh, because they have no healing ability. They cannot regenerate. You should be able to regenerate them. Oh. Yeah, repair. Outside combat, this ability will heal 25 among all valid units. So he would be able to heal them, but because he's an AI guy, doesn't do it. It's fine by me. Everything that weakens him is is okay for me, really. I have to I have to say it. I don't care one bit if he is going to do the typical AI things. I could try to get some more units from out there. It would be good. If I could get another Draconian Flyer or any other unit really. It would help me immensely. I think Slinterskoy will be able to finish Edward off and this army off. I'm I'm rather positive. City so waits its fate. They're going to be migrated to Ghoul Goblins. A domain invasion over here with two shrines. Problem is my units here are are really hurt. They are near death. Hornswind has grown into a city. Where are where are the units? Of Bren Grimdaughter. I should be here by now. So I'll go ahead. Um, I have to start somewhere. So I'll summon, summon my guy over here. Summon, summon our first Red Reaper. He should have, yeah, his greater life drain now, so 9 to 12 every time he attacks. These are <coughs> pretty powerful units. You shouldn't be deceived by their low um, hit points because they have um, incorporeal. They get 60% um, physical damage protection. So they will take a lot less damage. And therefore, the hit points are way higher than um, a comparable 
non incorporeal unit. They can pass war, they are flying. So let's let's get over here, let's get rear and see what they do. This is their army. It won't first spawn an evangelist, a crossbowman and one one guy. Can I send an army from over here? I only have one butcher. And he can't be here in time. Still, I would like to try... And kill this guy. <coughs> it's not impossible. Because our Dread Reaper is... Um, has greater life drain. And he's fearsome, so people that attack him... Might get feared. But he's also... He has a 40 percent spirit weakness. It's dedicated to evil. Um, I don't think I will do it. Ah, Agony has produced Karnak's Greaves. Very good. We'll make sure to send them to him. And we are going to uh, get back Alondra the Exorcist. Citizens of the Empire pray to God to let their savior return to the mortal world. Resurrect the castle's last fallen hero with full health at target location. Very fine. New production for Ghost Wind. Ghost Wind, yeah, you did you did pretty well. And they have an incredible production. 157. We have some money left. So I think we will build the Cathedral of Bones which they will pump out in two turns. That will generate not only more more undead population, but will also give um, undead units one additional rank. And that's always really good. Light has grown into a town, that's fine. Grave Raven has grown into a metropolis. Yeah, they're pretty big now. They have some butchers. That's fine by me. Cold Rain has produced a butcher. I think after these butchers, we might go and do some Deathbringers for good measure. How is it? What do we need to build in here? There's not much left. Yeah, we, we want to churn out some death bringers perhaps four three should be enough bone collector don't get uh, a lot of it they are monsters so none of the other bonuses applies hmm we leave off yeah, it's, it's always forge blasting this poor town oh this guild has been destroyed so Loden has finished migration. Oh yeah, well, I forgot. Build a house is good. That should be fun. We can turn out our own units now. Should I do that? No, don't know. Metropolis of Grave Raven produced a butcher, yeah, that's fine. And Terminus finally produced the Cathedral of Bones, so they are going to produce another butcher now. This is still paused. You require orders, yeah, we could do something with you. Hmm. We might attack these independents to get some more ghoul units. And then use them to go down here. Um, I'll give it a think between episodes. And I'll end this one here. I'm not sure. I have to tread very, very carefully now. Because I'm on at war on a lot of fronts. And there's only so much you can do. I mean, we're winning. we're winning the battles that we need to win. So that's good. We took we took her, tro her throne city. That's brilliant. 
That's just brilliant because she there's no way to retreat if we can catch her before she can install her uh, throne somewhere else. She's done. She's just done. Um, but we're only one step away from, from disaster. This army is basically finished. I mean, it will get better when we research Healers of the Dead in the next turn because these two units will then be able to heal people. Both can now throw curses. And this one has 85 and this one has 115 hit points. He's a champion level 3. That's amazing. He is on his way to champion rank. He's an unholy champion now. So he does a lot of damage to... What does this incorporate really? He's a good slayer. Yeah. An additional 5 fire damage against animal, devout, fey and dedicated to good units. Devout units are all the units that they have. Except for these shrines. These shrines are not devout themselves because they are not people. They are machines. But they are holy relics. So they generate plus two per turn on the world map for each unit in its army that is devout. Because they are praying to it and looking to yeah, maintain it. It has a fire weakness though. Um, yeah. I think we'll... We'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. And if you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. If you did not enjoy the episode, please tell me in the comments so I can improve. I hope you join me next time when we will be continuing this um, yeah, tactical conundrum. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.